Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is going to be our second video as part of our playlist, latest tally release 6.0. I hope yesterday, the 9th of April, some of you would have witnessed the launch, official launch of release 6.0. And also some of you would have witnessed the demo which was followed for almost two hours where they were actually demonstrating the highlights of release 6.0. Nevertheless, starting this video, I will be covering the features related to online banking. And in each video, we will see what are the things that we can actually leverage on the latest connected banking features. So in this video, today we will learn how should we connect our account for online banking or connected banking feature? Let us go to Tally and explore the steps to get ourselves registered or connected for connected banking. For you to use the new feature of connected banking, the prerequisites are number one, you need to have active TallyNet ID on your current license site and your TSS should be active. First time you will be logging in as administrator. To log in, click on exchange and select all banking options and click on login and logout. Enter your TallyNet ID here. Enter. As mentioned by default, the account administrator is administrator for connected banking also. Now you have to enter the TallyNet password. In case if you have forgotten your password, you can click on reset password on the right hand side button bar. You will get a link to change your password on your registered TallyNet mail ID. So let me enter the password. Once you log in with password, if your password does not meet the criteria of password policy, you will be prompted to change the password with the instructions given on the length of the password and the mandatory characters. So let me enter here. For the first time when we log in, you will get the screen of welcome to connected banking. You will also see here what are the banks that are currently supported for connected banking services. So this is the instruction for you to connected banking services. And here is where you can specify the mobile number for which you want to use the connected banking services. And on this mobile number only, you will get the validation or authentication of OTP. So let me select a mobile number, enter. For you to view the terms and conditions, you can set this to yes, or you can directly click here on terms and conditions and you will be taken to the terms and condition and privacy policy. Click on terms and condition and you can go through the terms and conditions. Click on privacy policy and you can go through the privacy policy also. So once you have done here, you can say yes to I have read and understood the terms and conditions. Press Y, enter and now you will get an OTP on your registered mobile number for connected banking services. Enter. Now you are ready to connect your bank for connected banking services. So that is what you get the message here. In the next video, we will see how to connect your bank ledgers for connected banking services. I hope the steps provided in this video would help you to quickly connect yourself or register yourself for connected banking features. In the next video, we will see how you can link your bank ledger with your bank account and see what are the other activities that we can perform once you are connected with the bank. Thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.